welcome back to my channel. So it's been a really busy few weeks and I haven't had a chance to sit down in front of the camera and do a video, but also I've been trying to slow my roll in terms of buying Vera. I again went through my collection and, and started trimming down things that I either don't use or I, you know, I'm just not too crazy about and just focusing on the bags that I, you know, I really like and continuing to use those. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't been on here. I've been using my Vera Tote and my Franny and um, in conjunction with my um, cargo sling bag that was the last video that I did. I've been using those three bags in conjunction for like the past a little over a month now. So I really haven't been in a new bag uh, for a while until this past weekend. Um, so my birthday is March 30th at the end of the month. And um, my boyfriend decided to surprise me and take me to the uh, Vera Bradley factory outlet in Columbus, which is a little over two hours away from where we currently live. So I was super excited. Um, I already had in my head what I wanted to get um, because I, as you could see, Painted Paisley back here. Um, Painted Paisley is my all time favorite uh, Vera Bradley factory outlet pattern. I feel like Vera Bradley has been cranking out some real winners lately. Like, there really isn't a pattern that she has created that I hate. There are some patterns that I dislike or I'm not crazy about, but um, Painted Paisley so far is my favorite outlet pattern. And um, I already had an ID case and a lanyard in it, but I decided to pick up a few other items uh, for my birthday. So, and I do have a signature store item here as well that I picked up yesterday from Occasionally Yours because I didn't know this, but they also gave me um, a coupon, 20% off one item of my choice. Um, and it couldn't be a sale item, it had to be a full price signature line item. So I do have that to show as well. But first I'm going to start out with my uh, factory outlet haul. So since the Glenna is kind of front and center here, that's what I'm gonna pull out. Um, I love this version of the Glenna. So this version of the Glenna, I believe is the second iteration of the Glenna. Um, the first one, the very first one that they made, there is a band of trim that goes horizontally on either side of these pleating details. Um, I've not had that version of the Glenna, but it looks very similar to this one. This one just looks a tiny bit smaller and it doesn't have those um, bands of trim on the sides. And then the newest version of the Glenna is called the Glenna Satchel. And its main differences are it, it's got quilted straps, but there are pleather on the straps, which I do not like. Um, and it's more of a, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's more of like a, a roundish, you know how this one's like round at the bottom and it goes up kind of at like this angle. That one is more um, kind of scrunched because it has these um, tie details at the side where you can kind of cinch in the bag to make it look like this. Um, so it's more blousey at the bottom and scrunched at the top. I did have the Glenna Satchel literally for like a couple hours. I was I worked right next door to this um, Vera Bradley retailer that I used to work in. It's kind of confusing but um, so one day on my lunch break at my job I went over to that retailer and I wanted to get a look at the new stuff. And they, at the time they were having a sale on the pattern Desert Floral, which I really, really like. I don't have anything in that pattern, but I thought I would try the Glenna Satchel. So I picked that up. I did get a discount at that store because like I said, I worked there. So I got 20% off on top of the sale. I was super excited. So I still had time on my lunch break. I went back over to the office. I loaded my stuff into my new Glenna Satchel and I like tried it on and I just wasn't thrilled about it. Maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. Maybe I should have kept it for a few days or maybe even a week and kind of walked around with it and really tried it out. But I just did not like the straps. The straps on that version of the Glenna Satchel were quilted. And like I said, they had that pleather detailing. They just weren't, you know, when I was testing it out, it wasn't staying on my shoulder very well. It felt very like, it just didn't feel good on the body. So, um, I, after a couple hours, you know, at the end of the day, I ended up taking it back because I already knew, 
um, that I wasn't very crazy about it. So eventually I got heirloom paisley um, glenna, a heirloom paisley glenna that looks exactly like this one basically. Um, and I love that one. I love this version of the uh, glenna bag. So I decided to pick that up in um, painted paisley. They only had two of them left. They had one on display, so it was like up really high on the shelf. And I tried to get a look at it to see if I like the pattern placement because in my opinion, this is one of these bags that the look changes with whatever pattern placement you get. So I was like looking at the bottom and I found one of these under like a microfiber looking bag and I, it was the only one besides the one on display and I already, I love the pattern placement so much I didn't have to ask anybody if they had any additional uh, glennas in this pattern because this, oh my goodness, I just, I just love this pattern. And I would say the colors are coming out really accurate right now. Um, Maybe, maybe the background looks a little dark and I'll try to get, I did back up the camera a little bit today because I will be trying on some of the bags and I wanted to make sure I had enough room to do that. Um, so I'll just get in close here for a moment. So we've got a navy background and we've got all these pretty, almost vintage looking pops of pinks and reds and teals. And um, this color isn't like a bright white, it's like a off, almost eggshell white. Um, and that goes with all of the white in this pattern. So if you're worried about like getting this this white super dirty, it's not a bright white. It's like a, I would say it's very like eggshell. So, and I think that's kind of representing pretty well on camera right now. Um, but I fell in love with these three paisleys front and center here. So we've got the two that complement each other. They're basically the same paisleys. Um, obviously, the Vera Bradley faux leather nameplate is kind of covering this flower, but it looks like the exact same flower that's over here. So they almost form like a heart shape, which I really like. And then, oh, this paisley here, I love it because you've got this beautiful leaf detailing in here. And then you've got this line of flowers that kind of wrap around the paisley and these beautiful... Um, Lot, like this beautiful dot detailing with some yellow dots that surround it. It's just, I think, I know it's a busy pattern. I, you know, this is one of those busy patterns that I just love because I think everything, um, like a song, everything kind of complements each other. Like you just got just layers and layers of beautiful complementary pieces um, to this pattern. And every time I look at it, I find something new that I love. There is not one part of this pattern that I hate. Every single illustration, color, flower, dot, just look at this. Like, this is something I just discovered. Like, look at this piece where we've got this um, nice purple with, and I love this color yellow. I wear this color yellow all the time. Um, it, it's just so complementary to everything else that's going on in the pattern. And it's also one of those patterns I feel like you can wear just about anything and match it to a color that's in here. So um, that is why I went crazy over this, Glenna. And then look at the back. So you've got a completely different look here compared to the front. You've got a completely different look. Um, and when I turned this around, this is after I had already left the store. When I saw this little paisley popping out of the front pocket here, I was just like, I was so happy. I was even happier because it was just so beautiful. Um, and of course, as soon as I got in the car, um, I was actually using my heirloom paisley glenna satchel, um, not glenna satchel, glenna bag. Um, and I switched right over from that one to this one, um, which I should have brought that one out. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't think of that because I actually haven't shown my um, heirloom paisley glenna on camera yet, but I, I will do that sometime. Um, but I switched right into this one, and when I saw that beautiful pattern placement on the back, too, I was just so excited. So I'll just get you in close so you can see um, how different the back is compared to the front. You've got this beautiful red flower with the touches of pink, and you've got these um, white circles with little yellow dots inside of them. You've got more floral clusters and the paisleys over here. And then over here, um, see there's this pleating detail here, which I like the pleating on this version of the Glenna. 
I think the pleating on the Glenna satchel was just not very attractive to me personally. That's my personal opinion. I just like the look of this one better. Um, so yeah, you've got these pleating details on both the front and the back. And obviously since there is some piping there, the pattern is going to be a little bit, it's not going to be continuous from here to here, um, which is fine. I think it's, it just looks great, especially with this pattern. So I just really wanted to give a shout out to the pattern because Painted Paisley is just, in my opinion, it's just beautiful. It's amazing. I just love it. So I'll go ahead and go over the features of this um, Glenna bag. It's basically just like the, like I said, the second iteration. There are a couple small differences, but nothing major. So like I said, on the outside, you do have the pleating detail. And when it's filled, it, it just... The shape is beautiful. It's very reminiscent of the Morgan bag, if you um, have heard of that bag. It just gets really round and just, the shape is just amazing. I'm trying to emulate that shape for you here. So it just gets this like really round bulbous shape and it's so comfortable to carry on the body. You do have a um, semi-hard base. It is flexible, but it is not removable. You've got a giant pocket on the front, and the pocket expands from this pleating detail all the way over to this pleating detail and to the bottom, which is one of the reasons why I love the Glenna bag, because it's got these gigantic pockets, and I'm a huge pocket fan. Oh, got a hand sanitizer in there. Um, so yes, that's the back and the front. So awesome pocket structure. You do have um, metal hardware that holds the straps to the bag on both sides and I do know on the heirloom paisley glenna that I have these are actually rings instead of um these uh boxier grommets which I'm totally fine with these they're perfect okay I think those are all the features on the bottom so let's go ahead and open up the bag so the glenna especially this version is notorious for having a deeply recessed zipper so as you can see as I pull the front of the bag down, that's how much space you have until you get to the zipper. That personally has never bothered me. I don't care that it's recessed. I don't really carry much in general, so I don't need all that extra room on the top. In fact, I feel like when you're carrying it, it kind of closes up really nicely. So I'm able to leave this open half the time and not worry about anything because it's got that nice recess. Um, I like it personally. So on the ribbons, we do have the beautiful soft ribbons with Vera Bradley written on them, which is really nice. But it's kind of confusing to me because this is an outlet bag and they, they do Vera Bradley on the um, zipper pulls. But they don't do, like on the signature items, they don't have Vera Bradley written on the zipper pull. So I don't know why they do it with the outlet stuff, but not the um, signature line stuff. But... Anyway, at least they're going back to the ribbons on most of the signature line items, so that's great. So on the inside, we do have this really pretty purple, which matches, I would say, it doesn't quite match this purple, I don't think. It's a little bit lighter in color. I would say it's coming out pretty accurate on camera. Um, so that is one thing about the pattern outlet items. You don't get an interior pattern. If you get a solid color item from the outlet store, most chances are you're going to get that really pretty rose pattern that they have currently. Um, the fact that there was no pattern in here did not bother me, as long as it's not a black interior. Um, unless I really, really love a pattern that has a black interior, I typically steer clear from those because your items kind of fall into a dark pit and it, it does make it a little bit harder to find things. And I am going to talk about that a little later in the video once I get to one of my birthday haul items. Um, so anyway, you got a nice, beautiful, bright interior. And as you can see, um, it is that nylon, but it's very soft and durable. It's kind of different than the nylon Vera Bradley used during that brief stint in like 2017 when all of their bags, they switched from having a cotton interior to the nylon. This is a little bit softer, I feel. Um, and you do get the Vera Bradley, um, or the VB diamond, um, printing on the inside, as you can see, um, it's very shiny, very pretty. 
And the construction is the same as my heirloom paisley glenna. You've got the nice size zipper pocket on the back. And then on this wall, you do have the three slip pockets, one, two, and three. So anyway, I love this bag. Um, the only reason why I'm not using it right this moment is because um, my big surprise over here, which I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that, is the bag that I'm currently using. Um, and the bag I'm just about to pull into the video is also a bag that I'm using, a smaller bag that I like to put in my Glenna or my um, bigger bag. So that is the Glenna in Painted Paisley. Love, love, love this pattern. Alrighty, so we're going to move on to another Painted Paisley item. This is the mini satchel. And I'm gonna give a big thanks to Elisa. Um, her channel is Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. I didn't know this bag existed until she did a video last week on the one that she got in, um, I think it's called, the pattern is called Paisley Amethyst, which is a very, very beautiful uh, purple pattern. I didn't know this bag existed. Um, I saw her video. She does amazing, amazing reviews. Um, and she showed the bag in such great detail. She showed what the bag looked like on the body. She went through all the features. Um, so I thought, you know, I, at that point when I saw that video, I didn't know I was going to the outlet store. But I thought to myself, I'm like, well, maybe I can call the outlet and order one. And then I kind of just gave up on that idea because I was like, you know, I should be slowing down on buying my Vera. Let me just, you know, I'll put that on the back burner. And if I get to go to the outlet someday, maybe I'll take a look at it. And I think it was probably the day after we were gonna, this, we decided to go to the outlet. So I knew that was gonna be the perfect opportunity to take a look at this bag. I looked at it and especially in this pattern, I loved it and I got it. So um, this bag looks, like a mini 100 handbag. You've got the front pocket here. You've got the two carrying handles so you can carry it like so. And I actually forgot to try on the Glenna, but I'm going to try it on here in a second once I show you how I've been carrying these two bags the past weekend. So yes, got those two handles. Nothing on the back, but the handles do um, quilt down the side but not the bottom. And you do have a semi-hard bottom. You've got one zipper pull here for the main interior with the Vera Bradley written on the zipper pull. And it goes all the way around. And then you're gonna see all my stuff inside here. And it does fit quite a bit, which we will go through in a second. You do have a detachable um, shoulder and crossbody strap. And that's about it. Very, very simple bag, but it carries a lot of stuff, which is very impressive to me. So before I go on with the review, I'm gonna show you how I've been carrying this the past couple of days. So when I need a bigger bag, I carry my Glenna, but this fits perfectly down inside the Glenna. I keep the long crossbody strap on. I just kind of tuck it around. And then what I do is I open up the mini satchel like so. So it's almost like a purse organizer. That way, if I need a bigger bag and I need to throw some more stuff inside, I can. But if I just need my small bag, I can take the mini satchel out and keep my Glenna in the car. So I'll, since the Glenna is full, now you can get a nice idea of that rounded shape that it takes on. And I will try it on for you. Okay. So that's what it looks like. And I pretty exclusively wear it on my shoulder like this. If I'm in a hurry, I will throw it in the crook of my arm, but I don't do that very often. And this is actually what I've been doing with my Franny too, because I, I did switch to my Glenna and Erin Paisley last week. And I just had my uh, Glenna with my Franny inside. And that system worked out really well. So, this does look like a mini 100, and I did pull out my 100 and Bramble, and I did put a towel inside so you can see its full extended shape. I don't store it with towels inside, I just don't have the room um, in my closet to do that. 
basically my only storage options is to keep everything in my tote. And I have cut down my collection to fit inside of one small tote, like a plastic tote. And then all of my larger items like my uh, backpacks and my weekender are inside of my larger suitcase. So I've got basically two places where all my Vera are in that suitcase, which are my larger items, and then in that plastic tote, which has all my bags. So um, I do store this flat inside of that tote, but when I put the towel in it, it takes on its shape. And usually when I put all of my regular stuff in it, especially if I put like a reading book inside, it finds its shape really, really nicely. So I just wanted to bring this on camera to kind of compare them a little bit. I already know this video is gonna be long. It's already at 21 minutes. So I apologize for that. But here we've got the Bramble 100 and the Painted Paisley Outlet Mini Satchel. So as you can see, they both have that front pocket. And obviously on this one, it's really small. I can only get my chapstick and maybe a hand sanitizer inside of there, which is fine. They both have these carrying handles on the top. This one, it's stitched straight onto the bag and they're not quilted. These ones are not quilted. These ones are held on by this um, metal hardware that's kind of rounded off and the handles are quilted. The carrying handles on this one are quilted. And you do have the nice contrasting um, border trim on the 100. This one, you don't have any border trim, which I think is okay because it is an outlet bag and pattern. So you don't even have an inside pattern with this. The strap, the crossbody strap obviously is not quilted, but it is adjustable. And here is your adjuster. It does say your Bradley on it and it is kind of squared off. And on the 100, you do have an adjustable strap. It is a lot wider for comfort because this is a bigger bag. And obviously it does have the adjuster here. And with the 100, you do have your main interior here or your main uh, opening, sorry. And let's see, you do get two zippers with this one because it is a bigger opening. With this one, all you need really is just one zipper because it is a smaller bag. I don't think you need two. And also with the 100, you get these really nifty um, hidden zipper pockets. And the great thing about this 100 is that they're all soft zippers. There are none of those um, hard metal zippers that Vera Bradley was using for a while. And you do get those hidden zipper pockets on both sides of the main interior. So I'll kind of set this right here for now. So basically those are the main um, kind of compare contrast with uh, the 100 handbag. As I said, you don't have anything on the back here, but they do look very similar. And a long time ago, I thought like this is, this 100 is like a perfect medium sized handbag. It's perfect. It fits so much stuff. It's amazing. Um, but I always thought like it would be nice to have something that was exactly like the Franny, but you know, had carrying handles like this and still had that crossbody strap. And this is the perfect alternative. This is a little bit bigger than my Franny. Um, I feel like there's just like a smidge more room inside. And having the carrying handles is a great addition because I found it kind of handy with bags that have these short carrying handles to throw it right here on my wrist when I'm in a hurry or when I'm just running in and out somewhere and I just need really quick access to my bag and I want to keep it close by and I don't need to put it like crossbody or shoulder bag. I can just keep it right here. I've become really um, uh, acquainted with having the shorter handles on a bag like this. And I know when I use this bag, I do use these a lot and they're very, very comfortable and make a lot of sense for a bag this shape and size. So as you know, um, the 100 handbag does go crossbody and it's amazing. I have worn this crossbody before and since it has such a wide, thick strap, it's very comfortable. However, some people might find it a little bit awkward to carry. 
as a crossbody. I think the triple zip hipster and the regular hipster, and even the little hipster for that matter, are great because they're flat, slim crossbodies. So when you wear them, they have such a small footprint on the body because they're flat. But when you wear the 100, for example, as a crossbody bag, it is not flat on the body. It's definitely a bag that sticks out and some might find that to be a little bit awkward. Sometimes I tend to wear it to the front, especially if I need to get inside of it, or I will kick it to the back and it's almost like a really low wearing backpack or back sack even. And I like it. I actually I picked a good color today for the stuff I'm reviewing because it seems like some of the stuff kind of goes well with this blue. I didn't think it would, but it kind of does. But anyway, I like it crossbody personally. I think I know it is a little bit like bulky on the hip, but I would rather wear a crossbody that's bulky than a crossbody that's flat because I can't get any of my stuff into a super flat crossbody. I just can't. It's very stylish. It's they're very pretty. I'm mostly picking on the triple zip hipster because I've I've tried I think almost every iteration of the triple zip hipster that has come out and they just they just don't work for me. I can pare down and I don't even carry that much. I can pare down everything that I'm carrying and it'll still be bulky and not fit what I need it to fit. So I've I've kind of just given up on the triple zip hipster. Um, it's a great bag. I'm glad people love it. Um, and I personally, I love the look of it. It's very pretty and um, very functional looking. But for me personally, it, it just doesn't work. So I would rather wear a bulky crossbody like this because this is going to organize and carry everything I need perfectly. The great thing about the mini satchel is that it's basically the 100 handbag just pared down, you know, a lot smaller, a lot more compact, and it is great as a crossbody. So I've been wearing this all weekend, and it has been wonderful. And I'll show you everything I've got inside here in a moment. Just wonderful. The straps lay down nicely to my side. Sometimes I do throw it in the front if I need to get my wallet. Sometimes I do throw it to the back or I just keep it right on my hip and it's totally fine. You do have, again, this adjuster and you've got this little piece of fabric that I think its purpose is to keep these, these two straps together. I do find sometimes this piece gets in the way when I'm adjusting. So um, when you need to like adjust the strap down here, I just kind of move this up so it's out of the way or I just push it down like that. But yes. Great, great crossbody bag. Okay, so let's get inside. So like I showed you on the front pocket there, I do fit my chapstick in there. It doesn't fit much else. It's not gonna fit a cell phone or anything like that. Um, I do have a hand sanitizer out here, so. It does fit my hand sanitizer and it'll fit my chapstick as well, which is great. unzip and kind of give you another snapshot of all my stuff inside before I take it all out so you can see kind of how everything fits. So there is a back wall zipper pocket which is a really nice size and it's great that they put a they put pockets in such a small bag. So in that zipper pocket I've got my headphones, my medicine, my floss picks, and these cute little rubber animals that I got from the zoo. So that is the back zipper pocket. On the other side of the bag, you have a big slip pocket that's about the same size as the zipper pocket. It's just open. And actually that's perfect for my sunglasses, especially because these are pretty beat up. I, you know, I got them from Walgreens for $10, like four or five years ago. I've had them for years. They are a little bit scratched. They are a little bit beat up. Sometimes this lens pops in and out but I love these sunglasses and I typically just throw them as is into any bag that I'm using. Sometimes I will use a slip case, but I find that they fit into this slip pocket really well. So it sort of protects them from being scratched. So there's all of my stuff in there. I've got my handy dandy petite pouch in watercolor and that's where I keep my hand sanitizer, band-aids, floss picks, gum, um, Tylenol, things like that. 
I've got my mini kiss lock and in here I keep my iPhone charger. So I've got the adapter and then I've got this little mini cord off of Amazon. It was like three bucks. So I thought that would be perfect for a purse. And it fits inside of the mini pouch really nicely. And this is Vines Floral. I found this the other day when I was going through all my Vera. I was, like I said, I, I kind of um, gave away some stuff. Um, and I, I also sell on eBay, like very minimally. I don't, I'm not like a, a big time seller on there or anything, but when I'm ready to like, you know, give something away, I sometimes I do sell on eBay. And I was looking through all my purses because I do leave stuff behind in some of my bags. And I found this little die cut notebook in Catalina pink. They don't make these anymore and they're extremely hard to find. I did try to search on eBay and I only found one in Parisian Paisley and it was like 30 bucks. No, sorry, not gonna happen. Um, I would like more of these, but not at that price point because they are very small. Um, I do have some personal information in here, so I'll try to flip to a page that's empty. So you've got these really pretty pages that are die cut with the Catalina flowers. And then you've got these bigger pages and behind that, that is the Catalina, um, I don't know if it's Catalina showers or maybe it's just the interior print, I'm not sure. But this is so cute and it's the perfect size for my purses, especially my Franny and the mini satchel. I've got a hair tie, my car keys, a pen, a little bottle of lotion, and then I've got my beloved painted Paisley Zip ID case and lanyard. I did have them clipped on, but I took them off briefly yesterday. So I've had these since Painted Paisley launched last year. I can't remember when it launched, but I'm thinking like maybe September or August. I'm not sure, but I fell in love with the pattern when I saw it online. I called the outlet um, and this is what I got. And I just love the pattern placement they got me um, on these items. And I have to say, I like the outlet zip ID cases better than the current signature store zip ID cases. I personally am not in love with the quilting um, on the zip ID cases now. And I, I feel like the, it's just so, the cotton is so tight. And I carry a lot of stuff on my zip ID cases. As, as you can see, it's kind of um, bulged out a little bit. And it's kind of hard to get my, it takes a little bit, uh, sorry, I'm just like, oh, crazy can't say words today. It takes me a little while to stretch out that signature store quilted cotton with the zip ID cases. Whereas the cotton on these are soft, they're very stretchy, and I feel like I just have a lot more room, as you can see. I just have a ton of room back there for stuff. So I really, really like the, um, the outlet version of the zip ID cases. And there's my brother. Today is his birthday. He passed away. So I also thought today would be a good day to do a video. Um, I took work off. I worked seven days in a row last week. So I took today off and thought it would just be a good distraction too to do a video. And plus I've got I got several comments in Vera Bradley Buzz to show these these outlet items. So anyway, happy birthday, Nicholas. And the lanyard. And that is all that is inside, so you can see how much room you've got inside. So as I said, this kind of reminds me of the 100 handbag and the Franny, a little bit bigger than the Franny, and you do have these nice carrying handles and a um, wider strap. So I do love this bag. I'll go ahead and put all my stuff back in real quick, and then we'll move on to my other birthday haul items. I realize this video is kind of getting very long. And you guys probably don't want to watch a 40 minute video. So let me just put all this stuff back inside real quick. I'll give you another quick peek inside of it with everything. Okay, on to the next. Thank you 100 handbag for your nice little cameo. Alrighty. So, 
when Toucan Party, which I just realized the play on words, as an English major, I really appreciate the play on words here, Vera. Toucan meaning the bird, but also it can be two as in two people can party. Two can party. I like that. Um, when this pattern first came out, I liked it, but also at the same time, not seeing it in person, I was like, eh, I'll pass on it. Like, I like it, but I'll pass on it. But after going to the outlet and seeing it in person and seeing like all the different pattern placement options you can get, that's when I got really excited. So I decided to pick up a medium cosmetic and a zip ID. And then I got my free birthday gift, which is the twice as nice keychain. So I'll get in close for these smaller items here. So let's go with the birthday gift. So Vera sent me a coupon that I could use either at an outlet store or at the uh, signature stores or online. And it's 25% off your full purchase if you use it at the signature stores or online. Or it's 25% off one item if you use it at the outlet and then you get a free sp surprise birthday gift at any store. So she just kind of picked from a random box. I didn't like push and say, oh, I want that or that. She just kind of picked this up and I thought it was perfect. Um, so it is the twice as nice keychain. You can see the little pineapples on it. And this does snap and you can take this key ring off. So if I put my keys on here, I can keep my keys with whatever else I want and just take it off at my leisure, which I really like. Then, I got the medium cosmetic and when I saw the pla the placement with the little crab kind of drinking out of the pineapple, I thought that was super cute. I did get a little bit of a toucan, he's kind of cut off there, but he shows up pretty nicely right here. Got a little bird down here and I got the crab again on this side, the bird down here and really no toucan on this one, on this side I mean. So I just thought that plate the placement on this was really cute, so um, decided to go for that. And then, sorry, I'm like trying to find a comfortable place where like my head's not cut off, but then I was in line and I definitely wanted to get another zip ID and I was actually just gonna get another painted paisley zip ID because I love that pattern so much and I just love the outlet style zip IDs because they're also like the old signature zip IDs before they made them quilted. So um, that's why I like them so much. But when I was in line, I saw this one with the little bird right in the center, the two pineapples surrounding it, which I thought was super cute. And then on the front, you get a cute little crab right there. So I thought the placement was perfect and I had to grab that. Just one thing about this, I tried looking for a lanyard. I could not find a lanyard in Toucan Party to save my life. I don't know if they were all sold out or if I just was overlooking them. I almost got a regular navy lanyard because it would have, not, you know, would have paired fine with this pattern, but I decided not to. And that store was so busy. The line was super long. I was probably in line for about a good 15 minutes. That's how busy it was in there. Um, totally worth it though. I love everything that I got. And by the way, my, my boyfriend bought me all of this stuff. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I know he doesn't watch my videos, but, um, yeah, I was super, super thankful. I had my, my little debit card out and he's like, no, no, let me, you know, let me get it. Um, so that was super nice. Um, and I'm just so excited. And so my last birthday haul item is something that I picked up myself and I use my occasionally yours little um, discount. They sent me something, a coupon in the mail saying happy birthday, um, you get 20% off one item. So I, at this point I'm like, I really can't think of any signature store items that I want or need. So I was just gonna kind of throw away the coupon and not use it, try to keep myself from spending. Um, then I thought there is one thing that I could get and um, the cosmetic case that I've been using is the Lighten Up Medium Cosmetic in the pattern um, Petite Vines. And I did do a video on that. It was probably, I don't know, maybe six, seven, maybe even 10 videos ago. And I love the Lighten Up Medium Cosmetic. Just two things about it. One, 
It is a little bit on the smaller side. It does fit everything I need, but the great thing about the large cosmetic is that I can, when I'm traveling, I can throw my large bottle of lotion and my hair care products inside with all of my other stuff. And the second thing about the Lighten Up Medium Cosmetic is that the Petite Vines one that I got, the interior is black. So it is kind of like a black hole when I'm digging for my stuff inside, especially if I'm like in a place that's not real, you know, not well lit. It's kind of hard to find things inside. So I still do have that cosmetic. I didn't give it away or, or sell it or anything. I figured I would just use it for like charger cords or, um, you know, some of my tech stuff. I do have a couple portable battery packs now, so I thought I can just keep those in there. And I decided to use my 20% off on a large cosmetic in the pattern Sweethearts and Flowers. I originally wanted to get um, the new Cloud Vine pattern, but they did not have any, so um, I like this pattern a lot too, so I just went with this one. So it is a quilted item with a front zipper pocket and the pleather nameplate on the back. It's a very simple, beautiful item. And I personally love this pattern. I think it, it's got a really pretty vintage look to it. Um, so I really liked it. But one of the biggest selling points, you know, since it also didn't have the Cloud Vine um, large cosmetic, when I looked inside and saw that the interior was a bright white, I was like, that is absolutely perfect. It'll be so easy to see all of my stuff inside. So I might actually scoop my camera a little bit closer here. Um, the only reason why I backed it up is so I could um, try on my stuff for you. But since the try on portion is over, I can scoot it in closer. So as you can see, the interior is basically the same as the exterior. It's just white. And inside this front zipper pocket, I just have um, my little scissors my chapsticks and my q-tips in a plastic box and this front pocket isn't plastic lined it would have been nice if it was but it's okay i just put stuff in there that's not gonna leak and then on the inside there are no um organizational pockets or anything but it is plastic lined i'll try not to pour everything on the ground so it is kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge in there there's you know no real sense of organization inside but I don't carry I don't really wear makeup that much I do on occasion but not very much so most of the items that I have in here are like face wash and you know toothbrush toothpaste I do have a couple plastic cases one with floss picks one with like tweezers and um, nail clippers I do have face lotion and deodorant and I, I did a video on the stuff that I carry in my cosmetic which is completely boring um, <laughs> But in case you are interested, that is in my Lighten Up Medium Cosmetic video. But I thought this was perfect to fit all of my items. Plus, if I wanted to throw my, um, like I said, my larger bath and body lotion, which is like about this long, and my um, hair lotion in there, it'll fit perfectly. Because you can see I have so much more room to spare. And again, this is in the pattern Sweethearts and Flowers. So... That has been my birthday haul. Um, this one was kind of a birthday present to myself. All the other stuff my boyfriend bought. And I'm going to show you a really quick sneak peek. I'm so excited of the birthday present that I got myself. Um, it's a big one. It is the Custom Vera Tote in Foxwood Menagerie Blue. I am so excited. I love this bag so, 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 so much. Um, so I'm going to upload a video that just talks about this tote. And I'm just going to talk about my um, making a custom tote experience. And this video is already almost 45 minutes long. So I'm going to end it here and I'll see you in the next one.